Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we will work on screen orientation and also we will control volume and brightness through Sigbar using alert dialog. Now, first of all, we have to check if the orientation is portrait, then we will change it to landscape. If the orientation is landscape, we will change it to portrait. The orientation position is 3. Remove this toast. Here, we will check the current orientation of screen using get resources dot get configuration dot orientation equal to configuration dot orientation portrait if the screen orientation is portrait we will change it to landscape using set requested orientation activity info dot orientation screen orientation landscape change it to landscape and playback icon adapter dot notify data set change in else statement using else if else if get resources dot get configuration dot orientation configuration dot orientation landscape if screen orientation is landscape change it to portrait activity info dot screen orientation portrait and playback icon adapter and after position 3 we will work on position 4 that is for volume position 4 if position equal to 5 this 5 position for brightness now for position 4 we will control the volume using seek bar now first of all we have to create dialog in java class alert dialog create a java class right click on package new java class name it as volume dialog for this dialog we will also use a item layout now first let's create the item layout right click on layout layout resource file name it as vol underscore dialog underscore item change the constraint layout to the relative layout background background color you can use this code color code orientation will be horizontal give the padding 10 dp in relative layout firstly we have to create one more relative layout width and height width match and height wrap give id relative margin top let's say 10 dp in this relative layout create text view wrap wrap text will be volume align parent left true and center vertical also true point on the align parent left alt enter add this line also text color will be white and text size give 18 sp below the text view create image view width and height wrap content 
and app content give id volume underscore close and align parent right true point on this align parent right I add this attribute also center vertical true give source create the cross icon we will use cross icon here for closing the dialog let's create the icon right click on drawable vector it clip art search here close select this cross icon take it around I see underscore close next and finish in source I see close and now below this relative layout we have to create one more relative layout width match parent and height wrap content layout below will be relative margin bottom 10 dp and margin top 15 dp in this relative layout firstly we have to create an image view of width and height wrap content assign id id will be wall underscore dialog icon align parent left true also align parent start take it true center vertical also true and source pass the IC volume IC volume now below the image view sigma width and height width match parent and height wrap content center vertical true indeterminate take it as false max 100 progress let's say I give 10 below the seek bar text view for showing the numbers of volume wrap content id vol underscore number align parent right take it true align parent end also true center vertical true text 100 and text color give white color now in seek bar we have to add two attributes to left of wall number and to right of wall dialog icon change the height of this parent relative layout to wrap content now we can see the dialog looking fine all the controls now we can close this whole dialog item firstly volume dialog extend it to app compact dialog fragment here we have to override on create dialog method the second one on create dialog above the return curl firstly let's remove these lines now above the return curl 
we have to create alert dialog for showing volume controls firstly create object for image view and text views cross for closing the dialog text view for showing number of volume volume underscore number private seek bar seek bar and audio manager object for audio manager now in on create dialog alert dialog dot builder builder new alert dialog dot builder get the activity now layout inflator for inflating the layout get activity dot get layout inflator create view here inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot wall dialog item second attribute will be null now builder dot set the view we have set the item dialog view to builder alert dialog now get activity dot set volume control stream audio manager dot stream music now we have to assign memory using view dot find view by id r dot id dot wall close and point on the cross line control d and again control d change the second cross to volume number and also the id the third one will be for seek bar seek bar let's check whether we assign the id for seek bar or not id in seek bar we have to give id id will be war underscore seek bar now in wall dialog volume dialog you can see wall seek bar now audio manager is equal get context dot get system services at system service context dot audio service seek bar dot set maximum value audio manager dot get stream max volume audio manager dot stream music seek bar dot set progress audio manager dot get stream volume again audio manager dot stream music point on this red line alt enter cast to android audio manager now create int variable for media volume audio manager dot get stream volume stream music int variable for max vol max volume now we will get the volume percentage the return type will be double volpers use here math dot seal 
parenthesis again parenthesis again parenthesis create double outside of this first one parenthesis media volume slash create parenthesis double max wall and here static get parenthesis double 100 control shift enter volume number dot set text double course plus wall per that contains the volume percentage now seek bar dot set on seek bar change listener when user change the seek bar position we will work in on progress change get here audio manager dot set stream volume audio manager dot stream music pass progress in the third variable give as zero get int media volume audio manager dot get stream volume audio manager dot stream music create one more int variable for maximum volume audio manager dot get stream maximum volume stream music now double again we have to create a wall per we can copy the mat dot seal from here and paste it here and also copy this volume number dot set text paste it here now below the on stop tracking touch we have to set click listener on cross when user click on cross we will close the dialog using dismiss and on the last return builder dot create now let's instantiate this class in video player activity position 4 create object for volume dialog volume dialog dot show get sport fragment manager let's say write dialog and on the last notify data set change now open volume dialog here we have to pass these media volume and max volume here change this to media volume we have to pass this media volume here and max volume here as we are getting the volume text here so there is no need of getting volume text and media volume here so we can remove these four lines now let's check the app Our app is installed. Let's open the app. Open folder. Open video. Now, firstly, we have to check the orientation. As the current orientation is portrait, let's click on this rotate button. You can see the orientation is changed to landscape. Let's again click on it. Orientation is portrait now. Now, let's check the volume dialog. Click on this right arrow. You can see the list is expand click on this volume this volume dialog is showing let's play the video click on volume you can see the volume seek bar is working and also the volume text volume number here so that's it for now see you in the next tutorial until then Allah Hafiz